Hey, welcome to Planet Hex, I'm Andrew Horn. This is a show where I talk about a lot of VHS tapes, a lot of retro movies, retro pop culture, music, games, comics, the writing life, and whatever else comes to mind. On this episode, I'm going to talk about some video nasties and some other VHS tapes, some other little horror gems that I've found over on eBay. So, there's a bit of a mixture here. And I am fascinated with the Video Nasties era and the whole stigma that came around um, horror movies in the 80s and indeed went on into the 90s. I'm going to use for reference this handy book here, VHS Ate My Brain, revised edition by some dude. I recommend this entirely. Um, but yeah, I've got a, I've got the list of the, um, the movies from the DPP's band list in here. Uh, the prosecuted 39 and the non-prosecuted 33. So I'm just going to check which um, which half of the list, just because I'm, my memory fails me often. Um, I'll see which part of the list that these movies fall on. Not all of them are on there. Um, some of these are just cool ones that I found on eBay, such as this one here, Blood Sucking Freaks. Um, I love this trauma collection. I love the the trauma collections uh, tapes with this really tacky border, this sort of like rave artwork border extreme entertainment cult classics but yeah blood sucking freaks was a unique experience and <laughs> yeah it's on the cult classics label there that, that looks nice there's no mold or anything like that that's a really cool tape but look at how dreadful it is and i mean dreadful in the best possible way it's gaudy and it's eye-catching um and I just love it. I've got um, a Mother's Day from this range upstairs. You see Mother's Day there with the blue cover. Uh, I've got that upstairs in the uh, on the Planet Hex set. This, this is cool. I had to bring that one up, but yeah, it's 50 quid. So again, tape prices are fluctuating. These ones I'm going to cover in this, this video are mostly at the more expensive end. So um, it's, it's really cool to see these around though. Most of them are way out of my price range right now, but yeah, I wanted to check some out. So that's Blood Sucking Freaks. The next one I saw here, I had this. I had this edition. It's one of the ones that I sold in the great purge of my VHS collection, and it's the Warner Home Video Puffy. So puffy, um, like clamshell. It had like a puffy um, plastic feel to it. It's kind of squidgy. Uh, of Carrie. Now I I love I love Carrie. I love it, even though it does deviate quite a lot from the, the Stephen King source material, the, the novel. Um, it's a great movie. I don't really like John Travolta in, in things very much, but I think even, in the, even, even he was great in this. Of course, Sissy Spacek as Carrie, glorious, a great atmosphere. There's the Warner Home video, sort of squidgy clamshell, and that looks like it's in really good condition. Um, I miss that tape. That's a really nice one to see around, especially as it's currently only seven pounds. Um, you know, so you can you can buy it now for fifteen, but at seven, that's really good. So, what else have I got here? Now, classic horror movies VHS bundle rare film collection. What interested me here? This is thirty pounds for five tapes. Okay, fair enough. So. These um, mass market blob, Evil Dead, and Thing tapes, you're only looking at about a fiver for those really each. So that's like 15. So are these going to be worth 15? So you've got Hunter's Blood and the Exterminator. So I would say those are worth 15. So this is this is bang on the nose altogether for these five tapes. I would I would pay 15, uh, sorry, 30 for these five personally. You don't see Hunter's Blood around. It's in one of those rounded clamshells, so that's one of the rounded big boxes, so it's a nice one. The thing with the Exterminator here, I had this, um, was it Intervision mine? I had one like, I had one with that cover. I think it might be an Intervision, my copy. And, um, it didn't look or feel right. I was concerned it may be a bootleg, so do be careful when you when you're finding these tapes. But for thirty pounds, that's not a bad batch of movies. Um, if you want to fill out your VHS collection with some class, I mean, that remake of the Blob, that's one of the greatest remakes ever. And I, I hate remakes for the most part, but that one is great. That one is superb. Very messy, very sloppy and gory. Next one I found, of course, I couldn't really talk about uh, the nasties without talking about I Spit on Your Grave. So let me just make sure, this was on the Prosecuted 39, which is here in the book. 
Um, just to make sure, yep, I spit on your grave was on the Prosecutor 39. You know, we all know the rumours of it being Demi Moore's behind on there. Um, I've heard from Charles Band in his autobiography that it indeed was Demi Moore's um, behind on there. That's been a source of great debate amongst really quite sad men like myself for years. But that's a really cool looking um, Astro Video edition. Look how clean that is. That's really clean. So we're like, yeah, tape looks good. Tape looks in good condition. Little damage to the inside of the box. However, that is one of the most notorious tapes of all. Yeah, it's a really unsavory subject matter in the film, but it is one of the most sought after ones, so I understand that absolutely that that is 150 quid. Um, buy it now. There's no bidding on that one. So the next one I found, oh, this was a great movie. I really enjoyed the the atmosphere and this was really c very sick and twisted and that that took me into it. So um, Scavellini's Nightmares in a Damaged Brain with the X certificate on the cover there, that is so cool. Look at the X there. From the company that brought you The Hills Have Eyes. Do you know that never occurred to me. So the cover looks good. A little bit of warping to the, the sides of the box but that's a good looking clamp for that. Oh man. That tape looks great. Look at the condition that is in. That is in superb condition. The uh, the world video edition of Nightmares in a Damaged Brain. One of the most notorious ones that would often get talked about in the VHS collecting circles. VHS people love um, presets and the video nasties because there's that sort of illicit thrill of having these things. And I totally understand that. Um, so the next one I've pulled out here, that I've found here at the moment, go for £60. I've not seen the condition of this though, I see some damage on the cover. This is Lucia Fulci's House by the Cemetery. Now this is a good one. It's a Vampix tape, um, so that, uh, that caught my eye. Um, there we go, there's the Vampix logo down in the corner. Nice looking uh, images on the cover, but that is a bit battered, a bit worn around the a-hole. Yeah, there's a lot of wear there. So I can see that why that's a slightly lower price than uh, some of the um, more choice minty tapes around, but that's cool. I actually think that the, the wear on that adds more to it. It doesn't add more value, but it adds more character to it. I think that's really cool. So it's video media. Yeah, even the labels dog-eared. Ooh. The tape has some damage there. That's been that's been split into at one point by the look of it. That's a shame. So I see one that's at a bit of a lower price than a lot of the other video nasties going around at the moment. This one caught my eye. Choice of horror and sci-fi VHS tapes. Buy two, 40%. Buy three, say 50%. Um, I'm sure there's nothing incredible in here, but it caught my eye, so I thought I'd have a quick look through um, at what we've got on offer here because there's some nifty things that may be, uh, may be fun. So there's, there's Braxis there, free jack and hardware, yep. Oh my god, I've seen all these. <laughs> they, are all, they are all mass market ones, these ones, but it's fun to have a look through. God, I miss like rummage boxes and, you know, finding stuff uh, in the wild. We've got Gremlins there as well. That's not bad, that's not bad. You can't go wrong with an offer like that. Do check that out. I just thought I'd have a quick look around that. Now this this is one of the ones I sold off. I've still got my original copy of um, Creepshow, the one that I grew up with, um, which was uh, a Cinema Club tape. Do you remember Cinema Club, where it was all like 4 99 5 99 That's why I ended up with a lot of Cinema Club tapes. Um, but uh, I got this edition of Creepshow in, uh, it's written about in, in uh, this book. I got this in um, a batch of tapes that my friend Natalie brought over from her dad's loft. And it was, just, it was in there, individual, perfect intervision copy of Creepshow. I was so pleased, along with a lot of other things in there. Um, some of which I do still have. Oh, oh, I love the label on, label on that. I miss that. This one caught my eye. It's unhinged. Uh, it's 1766 on Avatar VHS. It is a preser. It is a. It was listed as a video nasty, but this was not prosecuted, uh, if I remember rightly. Um, yeah, this is in the non-prosecuted 33. Um, so they were, like, you know, people were supposed to be avoiding these things, and people were cautioned about having these things around. But you were not. Um, 
you wouldn't be prosecuted for owning this back in the day. And this was re-released on DVD on cut um, in about, I don't know, 2010, 20, 2009 or so, and it came out as a 15. And it's a really disappointing watch, very little happens in it. Violence beyond reason, victims beyond help. It, yeah, it's like that, but not until the last five minutes, which means you've got like 85 minutes before that of bugger all happening. So um, not what I really wanted, but it's one of those with a slightly misleading cover, which I think also got at the attention of the people that are putting things on the list. This wasn't a nasty, but this just made me happy um, because the deadly spawn how can you not love this film? It's a Tiger Home video from the destruction of a civilization. Light years from here rose an empire of mutant organic warriors. So, yes, The Deadly Spawn. One of the craziest independent films you'll ever see. Honestly, if you haven't seen it, those things are in it. Look a bit different, but no less phallic. Um, but that is that is just so beautiful. I didn't see the price on that. Thirty-four ninety-nine for that. I'm... Um, that is beautiful. Let's have a look at the other pictures there. Oh, they've, they've got a, a screenshot there of it being played. Yeah, so we know it plays. Spine looks good. It's post uh, so 79 minutes, so I think that may well be cut. But that's cool. That is such a fun film. I love that one. The Burning. Um, let's have a look. Yep, The Burning was on the prosecuted 39. Um, so it was, for a time, illegal to own this video. It is date stamped as well. Preset X rental date stamped. Have you got a rental stamp in there? Let's have a look at these these uh, pictures. Oh, nice um, nice addition of the silica gel in there. That's a good idea to uh, stave off any mould on all the tapes. That's a, I like that idea. I've not tried that before. Let's do some video so there's, there's stickers on the cover and things like that. That's cool then. So the burning head a, uh, is quite notorious to me, and I, again, I wrote about it in this book, um, where people were at school would pretend to have seen it, and they would talk about things that they'd seen in the burning, and with each passing day, um, the things that people would claim to have seen got more and more ludicrous, and more and more violent, and more and more outlandish. And so when we finally actually saw the burning, it was like, oh, is that it? Where's all the stuff that so and so said? It just it wasn't there, it didn't exist. But what I did find incredible about the burning was Cropsy's makeup. Oh man, that was a really chilling makeup. When you finally get the reveal, uh, reveal of Cropsy, um, just uncovered, that was such a shocking moment, a really powerful moment in an otherwise derivative film. But it wasn't derivative at the time, not really derivative at the time. I know it was around the same time as like uh, Friday the 13th, but watching these things in hindsight, hindsight, you see them, you see them for cliches and you see them for the stereotypical things that are included in a lot of slashes that followed. But when you get to like the originators, the early ones, like the burning of Friday the 13th, they were new then. They were new and vital, so it's not something that was so done to death at the time, if you'll pardon the expression. Next one I found in here was Tenebrae, the. Uh, Glorious Dario Argento Jallo. Was this on the list? I think this was on the list. Brain. Yes, Tenebrae was on at the Prosecuted 39. Um, so again, this would have been one that have got you in trouble back in the day. Not now, not anymore. It has been released uncut. I've got an uncut DVD of it that was released in the UK with all kinds of extras and stuff. That's a nice looking tape. Again, it's got one of those slightly squishy. Um, slightly squishy video cases so it's like injection molded but there seems to be a little space of air between the two sides of it so it does feel a little squishy to the touch you know you know what I mean if um, if you were there back in the day if you were there in the era you'll know the sort of take cases I mean there's a bit of give to them there's a bit, uh, a bit weird feeling but there's something even more taboo and tacky about that and you know we love this sort of thing. Um, Living Dead at the Manchester Morgue. This is going for, I didn't see, £169.99 by it now. And to be honest, go for your life. That's, that's, that's not the worst price I've seen for this movie. It has many, many titles. I know it most as uh, Living Dead at the Manchester Morgue. 
Um, it is called The Living Dead on this tape. But it has such a creepy atmosphere. There are zombies in it. They've not been made up to look like Romero style zombies, so you're like a different colour or you know, they're not blue or green or anything. They just look like people who aren't kind of glazed over. Um, let me have a look, see where they are. Um, what was this on the list? Or oh, I just opened this because it was cool. I think this may have been one of those tapes that was, uh, there we go, it's on the non-prosecuted 33. Yes, between late, late Night Trains and Nightmare Maker. Um, <coughs> so, amazing movie, very effective, shot in England, um, mostly, as far as I know, I think it was mostly shot in England, and it has a very effective feel to it. Oh, look at that, that's in good condition, that VIP case. Oh no, sorry. There's a crack there. The cracks in the corner. That's pretty. That's pretty common with things of that age, and is to be expected. But it's nice. It looks nice and smooth, largely. Or well, the small wear there. But that is such a great tape. If you've never seen that movie, I do recommend it on any format. Um, there are HD versions around. I'm sure. There's, I'm sure there's DVDs and Blu-rays of it around. And it is well worth your time, just for the atmosphere alone very very cool film I've seen it several times and it just does not lose its power I love it so the next one I found here was Necromancer just because I don't see this around this was a terrible movie uh, it's available on um, I think it's on Plex the free streaming service I think you can find Necromancer on Plex and it's from about 1987-88 and it has almost zero setup um, and it's, it's watchable, it's passable for like 85 minutes or so. It's not going to change anyone's world. But it is a, uh, it is a fun, fun movie. Um, but just check out these taglines on the back, the, the blurb there, the power of the dead. Hideous, immense and untamable, it lies deep. To be summoned from beyond the world, to inflict vengeance beyond belief. It is the time of the necromancer. <laughs> You can't you can't lose with stuff like that. That's fantastic. So yeah, that's what is there to say about that movie? Um, it's cheap. It's nasty. It's not cheap and nasty on the on the to the level of like a witchcraft movie. Uh, but I do recommend checking that out, especially for free on Plex. It's well worth a look. Um, if just to fill some holes in your in your 80s watching. Um, this is Necropolis. This is thirty pounds at the moment, and I'm gutted. I sold, I sold my copy of Necropolis. This was um, had Charles Band's involvement. Um, this is Taiki Entertainment it presents Necropolis. Um, yeah, Charles is, is mentioned on the front there, but this is one of I think this was put out in the Empire years, um, and it has a weird atmosphere in it. So a, uh, a witch, who a witch is resurrected. I'm sure I've mentioned this before. Uh, which is resurrected to uh, bring about Armageddon and that sort of thing. She's been dead for 300 years. When she comes back to Earth, she looks like Madonna and she's got six boobs that um, lactate slime, which, which she feeds to her zombies. Honestly, I, I'm not lying. So, yeah. <laughs> Another one here we've got from the list. I think this was on the non-prosecuted one. Yeah, the non-prosecuted 33, Terrorize. Striking cover, um, just with the red and the white and the like, blood-like um, text there. Not the best cover, not the best movie, but it was on the list. And this is a pretty nice uh, copy of it. Um, there's only that one image, though, so we don't get to see the back or the sides or any close-ups of the tape. Um, although, look, judging here, there's no mould. Looks in pretty good condition. Cover looks all right. Um, that's one of those, like, one of some of the lesser titles, like Forest of Fear or anything like that. Some of those, um, not one you really seek out. So, Revenge of the Bogeyman, I've opened this one up because it's a VTC tape. And I love the v uh, VTC tapes with the gold, um, gold thing around the top and the blue and yellow squares around the artwork. Um, with this on the non-prosecuted one. Okay, the first bogeyman was on the uh, the non-prosecuted one, uh, and it wasn't on the uh, prosecuted 
list at all. But it, um, the first one was. Now, the thing that amused me about Revenge of the Bogeyman, um, are there any more pictures here? No, not many pictures. It's um, not a very long movie. I think it's only about 80 minutes, this movie. And about 40 minutes is flashback to the first film. It's just the comedy of that amuses me, no end. Um, but I had to look at one more tape tonight. I had to look, I had to go and find one more tape. And of course, I found the biggest one. Not the Beast in Heat, no, but the one that would be most commonly associated with the Video Nasties era, and that was definitely firmly on the prosecuted 39, and quite rightly so, and of course that is Cannibal Holocaust. This is priced at £155 for Cannibal Holocaust on Go Video. Now, whoever this is has got a serious collection in the background there. I would love a look around that. So, um, yeah, this is one of the most notorious videos ever. Uh, one of the most extreme video nasties in its uncut form. Contains stuff that is still really tasteless today, especially the uh, the animal scenes. That is no a no go for me. So I was glad that when I got the um, the shameless edition of Cannibal Holocaust, that had largely been excised, which it, it doesn't do it, take anything away from the film. Not having those needless scenes of animal cruelty in. Um, that is a good looking tape though that is a really good looking tape what's that at the top they've got it open there I can't quite tell but that is in good condition again bit of wear and a couple of cracks to the case by the look of it it's the old go case yeah there's some cracking and perishing going on there but that's to be expected something that age that is a really cool tape and that is by far the most notorious of all the video nasties. Uh, that's the one that got everyone's attention with the, um, you know, with the cover, the artwork, and all the craziness going on with that era. Really, really crazy. Um, he, I recommend seeing it. I don't recommend seeing it uncut because that's really unsavoury. Um, but it it brought about a new way of thinking about how horror movies could be put together. And it did the phone footage thing long before the Blair Witch Project did. So that's a little look around some video nasties and other weird tapes that I've found tonight over on eBay. It's nice to see what these things are going for. I do see that the price of Cannibal Holocaust that's lower than I remember it being. I'm sure that was a lot higher a few years ago. So it does fluctuate, it does go up and down. But it's always interesting to see these things available. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you like this sort of thing. I do do troll eBay and Facebook Marketplace rather a lot on this channel um, but I do other things too, I've been playing at my FKD XP and doing some retro gaming I've been talking about cartoons I've been going to some cool places so do check out the rest of the channel if you're into that sort of thing I hope you enjoy what you find and I hope you join me again for another one so thank you very much for watching this episode of Planet Hex